in the lightweight division at USC Vegas 77. You got Nazim Sadikov taking on Terrence McKinney. And this is going to be a great fight in a great division. Nazim 8-1. McKinney 13-5. and five. Both guys stand 5-10. They're both in their late 20s. Long career ahead. Hopefully for both. Now McKinney, five inch reach advantage, 74 to 69. He's a switch dance fighter. Sadie Kov stands southpaw, left handed. 5.2 significant strikes for him. McKinney, 3.8. So that's going to be a difference about uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 in this fight. Now McKinney does have an advantage on the takedown game, landing one takedown per round on average in several UFC fights so far. But Sadie Kov beat Evan Elder by KO, third round. At the contender series, he won also by third round KO. So, a really good fighter. Now, McKinney, on the other hand, 83% takedown defense. Uh, he was riding high, really, in the UFC. I mean, he lost to Drew Dober, but he won three or four going into that one, or the previous two going into that one. He's won three and four heading into the Ismail Bonfim fight. His last fight, he got KO'd in round two. So, he's been KO'd twice. That's a problem for him. That's also. Why he's the underdog in this fight. And this is a tricky one for me because I like Terrence McKinney. But I do believe Nazim wins this fight. I hate to say that. But I got to go with Nazim. I think he's going to defend the takedowns. 80% takedown defense. He's a pretty good striker on the feet. High activity. You know, over about 16 significant strikes per round. Uh, probably will be closer to 20 in this fight. Maybe 25. And eventually could get the finish. But I think Nazim wins to move to 9-1. and one. If I'm wrong, I'll eat this one. Because I do like Terrence McKinney. This fight goes down in a lightweight division at UFC Vegas 77.